We had a very successful day today. Progress. Rainy days don't stop us. <laughs> I may be wet, but the flyers aren't. Lost Sean in the complex somewhere, so I'm just walking around looking for him. These complexes are huge. They're like mazes. Rules for door knocking. If a gate is open, even when you come, you close it when you leave. Always. Always close it. Yeah. <laughs> okay, we're supporting a beautiful and handing out our famous arm group coupons. So hope to get one at your door. What do you think of the rain? Do you love the rain? I'm out here. You're doing it. It says this complex leads right on to a playground. To hammer them, it's better to have a smaller territory, I think, um, and to really farm it by several touches and go every six months to mm -hmm. um, okay. the same area again. Mm -hmm. So we're extending some of the resources just like firing and we pull up prematurely. I think they need to hit consistently for them to remember who we are. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. So I think we need to go back like, after the first firing session and then go back again the week after. And now with door knocking and back up, like firing is yeah. great, but it, you don't, it's, you really need that like one-on-one -on -one connection, like that like conversation, I feel like. So now that we're like, we, well, we've just decided that we're allowed to door knock now. Um, <laughs> and, and, and it's, I, th that would be helpful, I think. So, yeah. I was door knocking with Caroline, and I also was cold calling this And I got, right. yeah, I got a few leads off the same You did? Day. Great. Yeah, I hey guys from like, Canada. Yeah, I'm yeah. so calling them back in like a week, I say. Perfect. Um, and then, yeah, the door knocking, nothing yet, but I'm optimistic, and I really want to get my first too. Yeah, I get it. Yeah. It can take sometimes like it's so it's hit and miss. Like there's days Carolyn and I uh, go and it will literally be like nothing, uh -huh. right. like a day yeah. where it's bad, yeah. and then it and then the next day will be great. It, like, it's you'll just, get like a you'll just conversation. get conversations yeah. going, and it's not. I mean, yeah. it takes like really. It took us like it takes a while to get it. Like like Carolyn said, it's not. It, it's very seldom that someone's like, yes, like to list with me right yeah, now. Yeah. We've never had that yet. <laughs> <laughs> but, so it keeps going, but it's good. It, it's, it's you can always good. walk with a door to your pocket. But. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. There you but go. Once you build that pipeline, then it starts turning over for sure. Yeah. Knock, knock. <laughs> yeah. We out knocking. <laughs> door knocking for the day and I have been getting so many questions about why I door knock and how I door knock and I just want to share more with you guys so I had a problem with the statement you're supposed to work smart and not hard because I believe that you should work smart and hard so I only have to work one hour a day door knocking but I am working very hard while I'm doing it it's all about consistency and showing up for yourself but that one hour produced two leads and the possible commission of those two leads is $38,000 if you're good at math that means that every step I took today when I was door knocking is worth $127 I think that you know people don't know how what the possibilities are when you're an entrepreneur and what it's like to really have the ability to create as much income as you want in your day another misconception a lot of people have is that you go and you make money you do not make money making money is illegal you can't print money you find money in life so if I need to find hundred thousand dollars to invest in this opportunity I want I only have to fi find five leads just five well if I found two today in one hour how many more hours do I need to door knock 
find the rest of that money. That money is out there. Like think of yourself as like a treasure hunter. And when you're door knocking, that paycheck, that treasure is behind one of those doors. One of those doors has your paycheck and you just gotta keep hitting them until you find it. What I wanna know from you guys is have you door knocked? Are you interested in learning how to door knock? If you are interested, I want you to DM me because I have a special giveaway that I am working on right now. It's just in like the starter phases, but I'm ready to send it out to a couple special people who would like to give me some feedback and it will teach you how to door knock. So give me a DM. Bye. Hi, it's Ashley here and today I'm out flyering. I've got 150 houses on my route. The whole team is out. Look how good this address is, 111. Best address you could have. Another part I love about the shop, look at all the beautiful kitties we meet. Hello, say hello. Hello. Hey, are those all business cards? They are. How fast do you think we can hand all those out? Three weeks. Easy, are you kidding me? Look at them all. Let's go get some new listings. <laughs> When you first started, you kept carrying out nose and nose at the door. Can you say that again? Um, did you ever get like discouraged at the door when you were first starting? Oh, absolutely. Things? You get like, yes. you yeah. get told no, like most well, of the time, yes, yeah. right? But you kind of have to get past that. You got to get past it, yeah. Don't, and you don't, mean, yeah. 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 Don't worry, like, you're going to get some people that are going to be like, don't ever come, like, you know, yeah. you'll get some. Yeah. I mean, you know what? It's never about you. And when people are like that, it's always about them, right? Yeah. And you just keep going, you keep going. Yeah. And it's okay. Like it, yeah. you, you'll do, and that's why it's also like doing like, you know, you really know Lynn Valley. People also like to know that you're, yeah. you're, like, you're an ex, like, you know, you can talk about it. Like, you know when I live have, there. Yeah. High yeah. yeah. And at the beginning, I didn't even tell, like when I first started, I didn't even say, oh, are you ever thinking of listing or you want to sell? I was just like more just ch chit-chatting, like, mm -hmm. oh, so you have, like, your dear kids go to the school or blah, blah, blah. You know, you just yeah. like have conversations, not even talk about right. listing. Yeah. 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 You slam in the door and like slam in the face, but you'll make a connection and then that will be, yeah. I yeah. think it's a good deal. Is your list of referrals? referrals right? and, and there, there's a lot to be said to having your network not be your sphere of influence. Like I know we happen to not, a lot of us don't have a sphere of influence mm -hmm. to sell to at the moment, but that's almost better because as you do this for a long time, let me tell you, it is a lot nicer that when your clients are your clients only, when you call them, they expect to hear about real estate. When you email them, they expect a market mm -hmm. update. You are never bothering them when you're calling them about real Real estate, whereas with the friends and family, it can be that hard, harder transition, mm -hmm. yeah. um, and it can really blur the lines. And to be honest, there can be a lot of issues along the way. 100%. So when, when you are that age of that person, like it's so much easier. You know, when it's a friend and you're, they don't call you back for six months about it or sign, you worry. But you know, you don't worry if your dentist doesn't call you. Yeah, yeah. right. So yeah. We want you know, just pair up with somebody and make it fun. Oh. The whole process. You know, I, I partner up with Jazz and Caroline and Sean tomorrow, and it's just. Yeah, you, know, you gotta keep that like momentum and that positive yeah. energy going. When too, when right? Sean and I or Justin and I had our first listing together, we'd like wear matching outfits. <laughs>